Are you trying to be more productive during the day but it feels like you are just putting out fire all day? If you are in that situation, this video will help you to turn around your day to be more efficient. guys welcome back and if you are new here my name is Noemi having an inefficient time to get everything done leads us to feel unsatisfied and overwhelmed being productive and being affecting is two very different things productive when we are producing something effective is when we more flexible and we get things done more efficiently and as of that we get a better result so when we feel like a headless chicken and running around and nothing gets done, we are not lazy. We just lost the focus. So here are some trigger factors to the procrastination. Stress, boring tasks, difficult tasks, emotions, and being overwhelmed. So these are the things that can contribute to do the procrastination. And I will break it down for you guys now how to beat that procrastination tips to fix it and get on track to do things more efficient first fresh start and we are in the situation so let's just draw the situation where we are in we have a feeling of being overwhelmed everything is piling up and our mind is racing what to do next and we're just putting out fire and we can't make a good decision because there's just so many to make in one minute so that's when we can take a deep breath because it's it's a very simple tool yet it's very effective so as soon as you take a deep breath, everything it slows down and it takes back you to the state when you are more calm. And also you can do a little bit of a stretching just to get your physical head because your emotional head is starting to affect affecting your physical head. So as soon as you start to treat those physical symptoms, then you will feel better with your mind as well. Second one is to recognize and this is something where we have to choose between what we can be control of and we can do something about it or something that we cannot do anything about it. So once we can separate into these two big category that will help us to do a better choice and better focus on the task that we have to do and we can do. Third one is set a goal. Without setting a goal, we don't know which direction we go. So once we know what we're heading for, what we have to accomplish, we're going to have a much clearer vision what we have to do. Without a plan for a goal, we get a much easier distraction and we get distracted way much faster. Effective behavior comes from being clear about what is most important to us and and we will know the shortest way to get it done to knowing what we want to accomplish that day we have to set a goal fourth focus eliminate distraction and this distraction can be a lot of things that can be a person a phone call social media and a bunch of other things that we have to set aside and obviously there are things that you cannot set aside like your kids <laughs> but you can you can actually just eliminate the ones that you can to stay focused on what you have to accomplish when we are not efficient with our time we are not lazy uh, we just overwhelmed because we are off the track from our focus the fifth one is break it down all those big tasks are built up from lots of smaller tasks so i have a very good example to demonstrate this for you guys so my little one when i'm teaching math for him if i would print out four page for him about math he would be so overwhelmed he could not know where to start but i figured if i print out a page and i just cut it in three different segments it helped him tremendously like 
he was going through very very quickly it was very overwhelming for him to see the whole entire page that was a big task for him but as soon as it was breaking down to smaller ones he had no problem to accomplish actually he got done faster than my older boy with this method so i categorize everything as a big project that is lo takes longer than two minutes because the other category i have it you can get it's something that you can get done under two minutes and those are the things are no brainer if we see something that can get done less than two minutes then we just have to go for it and we can get done very quickly if we are overwhelmed by starting a big project and start to break it down then we can just start with little projects because as we start to go and do things that will shift our mind to get a clue what's next so you will be on the roll after you get done a few of the smaller tasks you can move on to the big one and you can break it down and here's another example for you and i have to bring up my kitchen because that is the area that used to be for me the biggest challenge so when i was overwhelmed where to start the cleanup in my kitchen i just picked one object that would be the plates okay let's gather the plates let's wash the plates and as i was doing it I just got on the roll and next I did all the glasses and after that I didn't categorize them I just washed everything that was handy because at the time my mind shifted into do things instead of procrastinating things the sixth one is habits good habits are an investment create a habit so you will do things on autopilot and here's an example for that and again I have to bring up my kitchen <laughs> so I created a habit for myself that every time when I was cooking and I was preparing the food I had to wash my hands it gets dirty a lot of time as you prepare the food so every time I had to wash my hand I made myself to wash one dish no matter what just something that was in the sink so after I would say about three weeks it started to become a habit and I didn't even realize that until I was just thinking about something and trying to figuring out something and meanwhile while I did that I realized I was washing the dishes and it was a surprise to me because I wasn't aware of it that I was doing it so that made me do a less of a thinking a less of a decision making because I didn't make that decision it was an autopilot and it was a habit the seventh one is self-awareness so that would be the next step to fine tune to get over the procrastination and to me the first step was to figure out that I am actually a morning person and if you are not a morning person but you function better on the afternoon or the evening hours obviously that would be the perfect time when you can function better so that's when you can do more efficiently your bigger tasks and also the sleeping can contribute to even to our personality and majorly the way we think that day and how we can carry out a task so a good night sleep can help so much and if you want to know more about that i just recently made a video i will link it down below for you guys and it's about healthy habits what are those strong pillars to achieve a very good habit that can help us to function better so more on that topic will be in that video thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it and you are new here i would love to have you here as a subscriber you just have to push the red button down below and tap the bell if you want to have notification and otherwise i will see you soon thank you for watching bye